everyone, my name is Liran and this is Ram and we're from Audio Codes. We'd like to welcome you to a demonstration of Audio Codes Session Experience Manager, also known as SEM. SEM is part of Audio Codes One Voice Operation Center, or in short, OVOC. OVOC is a set of products and services that allow IT departments to manage audio codes, VoIP devices during the entire life cycle easily. So as I mentioned today, we are focusing on the SEM. Ram, can you please give us a brief overview? Sure. Audio Code Session Experience Manager enables quality and performance monitoring and performs root cause analysis in a single pane of glass. Through SEM's highly intuitive graphical user interface, system administrators are able to constantly monitor the performance and quality of the VoIP calls from a single location. Once quality issues have been detected, using the SEM, the administrator can easily isolate the exact network location and reduce the time wasted on studying the problem and performing root cause analysis. SEM's other features include a comprehensive set of reports allowing the user to see VoIP trends and determine the growth of the VoIP network. Also, a vast CDR repository allowing the user to perform in-depth investigation in the event of a specific call complaint. Each audio codes device, such as SBC or Gateway, creates CDRs. These CDRs are sent to the SEM by configuring the device with the SEM IP address. Once these CDRs reach the SEM internal database, they are used by the algorithm of the SEM to represent the network VoIP quality, performance, and perform root cause analysis. We also have RFC 6035 interface in order to collect performance measurements from any endpoint that supports that sender. This demo is a real and live application running in our IT environment that runs real traffic over audio codes VoIP network. The first screen we see is the network view. Here, we can look at the entire network quality and issues at a glance. The central section shows the network view with the devices and links. Like everything else in life, green indicates good and red the bad. We can quickly identify which devices and links are suffering from quality issues and which are working appropriately. Within this view, we have the option to look at the network in a topology view or switch to a tabular view. The tabular view is very useful in case we'd like to look at multiple devices, links, and endpoints at once. Like this, we can easily see the call's quality on each and every one of the endpoints, which are IP phones and soft clients. To make it easier, we have also included a search filter to perform a quick lookup of the specific device, link, or endpoint. On the right is a dashboard showing real-time data, a success-to-fail ratio graph, call's quality, and distribution figures plus pie chart as well as an active alarm table. On the top left, we can see the time range filter that narrows the entire SEM views and calculation of CDRs generated in the defined time range. Now let's look at the statistics of the VoIP network. The main view shows us the selected graphs representing trends of chosen parameters within the defined time range. And again, we have a dashboard showing real-time data on the right. We can view graphs per devices, links, or endpoints. This statistics view allows the user to examine the VoIP network behavior over the selected time range. This is beneficial in case we'd like to investigate trends within the VoIP usage. Supposing we investigate a problem, network statistical information would not be enough. In this case, we'll need to study a call-by-call -call CDR record. That's where the call list section can assist us. This list shows all calls within the selected time range per chosen devices. Here, we also have a filter and search box, allowing the user to easily find a recorded call within an enormous database. And that's not all. We can even drill deeper into details. By clicking the eye icon on a specific call, a new window opens. This window illustrates the entire call information history intuitively, including the exact call leg where the problem is happening. The user doesn't need to be an expert to understand where exactly the quality issue is. This saves valuable time. Let's see how we can use the SEM to investigate a quality issue. Sure. Switching to the topology view, we can see that the ESBC device has a red signal indicating a quality issue. If we want to focus on a specific problem, what would the next step be? We'll click on the ESBC button and then on the Actions icon. Then we choose the Select Just Me action. I can see that the entire view has grayed out and the dashboard data changed. Yeah, the entire topology view and the dashboard now show only the relevant information for the chosen device. This enables the user to focus solely on the problem. Does this impact other screens? Yeah, 
If we go to the statistics screen, we'll see the statistics for the relevant device only. I can see that in this specific time, we had several calls with fair quality. Can we study this further? Sure. By clicking the fair call segment in the graph, the system takes us automatically to the call list view with the specific calls filtered for us. And if we'd like to study a specific call? Very simple. We can click on any call to get detailed call information to perform the last step of the investigation. We can see that in this specific call, we had a quality problem between the SPC and the IPPBX and the direction. From this investigation, we can quickly understand that the problem is not within the SIP trunk side, but rather on the internal network side. It's easy to see. The SEM is very intuitive, and with just a few clicks, we can perform root cause analysis and get a full understanding of what and what the problem is. Moving to the Users tab, we can see a list of all users, each with user call usage and quality. We can filter users according to the headers, or we can search a specific user according to the user's name. Clicking on the User Info icon, we see user experience for all of this user's calls within the selected time range. We can also invoke a Skype for business call, an instant message, or even send an email to the specific user. Moving to the Alarms tab. This tab shows all of the active alarms in the VoIP network. These are quality and devices alarms. Alarms turn into issues whenever a device or link cross a threshold. They then turn red. This way, the user can handle VoIP network problems proactively, even before a complaint has been filed. We can filter or search for a specific alarm. We can also look through the alarm history and create a new alarm profile by clicking the alarm rules. Using these rules, we can also create a capacity usage alarm per device or link in order to get a notification before a congestion problem occurs. If we'd like to analyze trends over time, reporting is one of the most important features. Let's look at the reporting tab. The reports are very easy to generate and read. We can select the relevant fields, and once the report is generated, it can be saved as a CSV file or exported as a PDF to share with other people within the organization. We can also create a scheduled report. This is a great mechanism should we want to share a particular report. Simply configure the wizard to run the report on a specific day and time. And once the report is ready, it'll automatically be distributed to the relevant recipients. To sum it up, SEM is very intuitive, which makes it easy to understand and operate. When a vast amount of information is presented clearly with real-time information, it's easier to recognize the location of the problem and so its solution. The SEM says precious time spent on investigating the location, as well as the problem itself. It alerts the user on bottleneck before they occur and distributes the information with other users. Without the SEM, the process of finding cause of quality and performance problems could take very long and would be far more complicated. Also, you could spend a week of debugging just to find the information relating to the problem. With the SEM, the IT telephony user is able to provide the root cause analysis to the network manager, as well as provide a clear and precise network picture to the service provider in order to quickly resolve the issue. That was all for today. We hope you join us next time.